What a week it has been, everybody. This is Mr. Greg coming to you from Mr. Greg's top secret, undisclosed broadcasting location. Regarding the events of last week, Mr. Greg is very happy to report that the attempts by the CIA and or whichever secret society is at play here to apprehend Mr. Greg and thus thwart his very transmissions to the rest of the free world have yet been, once again, unsuccessful. Regarding Mr. Greg's missing Mr. Greg's top secret undisclosed broadcasting location's official space heater, it did resurface. However, Mr. Greg isn't quite convinced that it did so on its own or that it is necessarily free of any bugs and or surveillance equipment. Now coming to you today with a new video and a new song, I'd also like to discuss a new topic, one that is very near and dear to our hearts and answers a very important question that I feel that we each ask ourselves every day. But before we do, Mr. Greg would like to ask that you each say aloud the word 10, T-N, with him 10 times in a row. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Now, if we could each at home answer aloud, the question is, what are aluminum cans made out of? If you answered tin, you'd be incorrect. Aluminum cans are made out of aluminum. Now to today's topic, as I mentioned, this topic answers a very important question. And this very important question is, where has all the toilet paper gone? And to answer this question, we must first discuss the role that specific elements, and even more specifically, metals play in today's society. It's also important to note that among the several PhDs Mr. Gregg holds, one of them is in metallurgy and therefore qualifies him to answer this question better than anyone else. And I can personally tell you that the use of aluminum foil in garments such as headwear and or hats is not something just for weird people. Aluminum foil such as this generic compared to Reynolds wrap aluminum foil, which can be found in most households, has been proven to offer many benefits when used in traditional head garments. One of these benefits being the ability to insulate one's private thoughts from the many predatory telepaths employed by the many governments of the world. And it is the responsibility of these predatory telepaths to both communicate to you when you must go to the store to purchase toilet paper, as well as to report back to the government when you have done so. This is largely in part due to big business and politics with large companies such as Charmin seeking to keep the supply low so that the demand can be high. And this is nothing new. Throughout history, there are various well-documented accounts of great people rising to great power whilst employing the use of aluminum foil in their head garments. Alexander the Great, for example, has been known to have conquered the entire known world by his 20s. His helmet can still be found today in the Smithsonian Museum. And in a recent interview with the New York Times, former computer security consultant for the National Security Agency and whistleblower Edward Snowden had this to say, Aluminum foil has been used for centuries to combat the collection of data and personal thoughts. The use of aluminum foil in head garments is a proven method that has withstood the tests of time. Even with the technological advances of today, it's hard to beat the aluminum foil hat as a preventative measure to maintain personal privacy. So there you have it, folks. If you find yourself currently unable to spare square, maybe it's best to head to your kitchen cabinet and dig out that old generic compared to Reynolds Wrap Aluminum Foil. Let's start the song. This week's song is Old Habits Die Hard by Mick Jagger. But before we get too far ahead, let's go ahead and let's check our tuning. You'll recall from previous videos that the G string at the second fret produces the same A note as the open A string. That the E string at the fifth fret produces the same A note as the open A string as well. And that the fourth fret of the C string produces the same E note as the open E string. Now, if that sounds good, go ahead and jump ahead to either the chord section or the song. Um, and if it doesn't, we're going to do tuning next. All right, for those of us that do need to adjust our tuning, 
Remember, we don't want to do anything more than a half turn or a whole turn up or down. If you loosen the string too much, it's going to come out of there. And uh, if you tighten it up too much, you risk snapping your string. So just take things slow and really listen, okay? And this is how your G string should sound. Here's your C. Alright guys, we've got some pretty basic chords in here, but remember, if your chords don't sound the same at home as they do with me here in the video, then go ahead and jump back to the tuning section, double check your tuning, and come back. Okay. That being said, here we go. Our first chord is G, and then we have D, and you'll notice that in the video I'm doing a D with a bar. Just make sure that that open A string can ring out, okay? I have an A minor. C. Then you'll notice in this song I do the E minor with three fingers, right? You may do it like this with two. And there's not really too much of a difference in sound, but you'll see why I advise to do the three finger E minor um, in a minute. Then we have an E minor 7, which may be kind of new to some of you guys. Um, this is very similar to a G. If I put my third finger there, that's a G chord. If I take it off, that's an E minor 7. Okay, and then our last chord, which may be new to you guys, is a B7, which looks and sounds like this. And you may have already noticed that that's the same as an E minor, just up one string. Alright, you guys, the last part of this song is the strum pattern. Um, you're free to do the island strum, the down, down, up, up, down, up, but what's listed on there is down, smack, up, up, down. So the X indicates a smack, which is just a, okay, so it sounds like this, down, smack, up, up, down, down, smack, up, up, down, okay? Let's try to do four together. Uh, let's say it while we play it, and uh, we'll go from there. So one, just on a G, two, three, four, down, smack, up. Up, down, down, smack, up, up, down, down, smack, up, up, down, down, smack, up, up, down. All right, little practice you guys will have in no time. All right, you guys, Mick Jagger's Old Habits Die Hard. One, two. I thought I shook myself free. You see, I bounced back quicker than most. But I'm half delirious. Mysterious. You walk through my walls like a ghost And I take every day at a time I'm proud as a lion in his lair Now there's no denying it And no use crying it You're all tangled up in my head Old habits die hard Old soldiers just fail Soldiers just fade away.
there you guys go. Enjoy.